The BMW 2 Series is based on the 1 Series hatchback, and while it lacks that car's liftback tailgate, it's still more practical than many coupe rivals. The outright boot capacity of 305 litres isn't exactly massive, but a reasonably wide boot opening makes it relatively easy to lift stuff in despite the high load lip. Plus, the boot features a handy cubby hole, storage net, shopping bag hook, and 12 volt socket. You can fit two large suitcases in the boot of the 2 Series, which is quite impressive, even if it's a bit of a squeeze. And there's easily space for a stroller and other baby paraphernalia. Plus, there's room for golf clubs too. Important in this kind of car. Fold the rear seats down and you can carry a TV sized box. And you can load two medium sized boxes plus two small ones through the doors and onto the rear seat backs. Afterwards, you can then fill the rest of the boot with a small suitcase and a few soft bags. You can also fit a bike in once the front wheel has been removed, though the rear seat releases in the boot do get in the way somewhat. The 2 Series is actually pretty good in the back, though the rear bench is a strict two-seater. There's just enough headroom for average size adults, but smaller ones, they'll be quite happy. Legroom is acceptable too. Fitting a child seat is easier than in many small coupe rivals. The Isofix anchor points are easy to get to, and as the front seat slides forward as you get in, you have plenty of room to install the child seat itself. In-car storage is amazing for a sporty car. You can fit a 1.5 litre and 1 litre bottle in the door bins together. Also, you get a big glove box and some handy cup holders in front of the gear selector, plus the space for your phone. Overall, the BMW 2 Series is very practical for a small sporty coupe. It's a car you can buy with your head as well as your heart. Click over there for our 360 degree and infotainment video for the BMW 2 Series plus its in-depth video review. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. Now, did you know that in 1959, Mercedes tried to buy BMW, but thankfully, shareholders resisted.